Hi guys, with me again, Aji Kunyawan Yusuf, and in this video, we're gonna talk about cost of capital. Okay, let me ask you first. According to you, how does the company finance its operation? Basically, there are two common ways. First is using debt. The company can borrow money from the other parties. And the second is by equity. So the company issues stock and attract investor to invest in the company. Besides using debt and also equity, there is one other way to finance the company. It is using preferred stock. So the company can finance its operation using three ways. First is debt, second is common stock, and the third one is using preferred stock. But do you know that when the company finance its company either using debt, equity or the common stock or preferred stock that is cost to pay let me explain the logic if you issue the debt it means you expect the other party to lend their money to you they want to lend their money to you if they get interest it means we as the party who issue the debt we have to pay interest this is the example of cost of debt so when we issue the debt we have to pay the interest or if it is bond we have to pay the coupon that is cost of debt how about the equity to get the equity of course you have to attack the investor when investor want to invest in your company they expect to get return right they expect to get high dividend for example this is cost of equity then how about preferred stock? When we issue preferred stock, we have to pay dividend too. Therefore, in this video, we're gonna talk about cost of capital to know how much cost that the company has to spend to finance its operation. What is the implication? As the company knows how much cost they have to spend, they can know which project that they should accept or reject. If the project return is higher than the cost of capital, they can accept it. But if the project return is lower than the cost of capital, they can reject it. Let's talk about the symbol. For the debt, the symbol is D. For equity or common stock, the symbol is S. While the preferred stock, the symbol is P. So when we talk about cost of debt, the symbol will be RD because for the cost we use R for cost of equity it means RS for cost of preferred stock we use RP now how to calculate the cost of capital the cost of capital is calculated based on each component weight that's why we call this as weighted average cost of capital or WACC WACC formula equals to WD times RD times 1 minus tax plus WP times RP plus WS times RS. W is the weight. Weight is the proportion of each capital component to overall capital. WD means weight of debt. WS means the weight of equity. WP means weight of preferred stock while the R is the cost if we look to the formula in the debt side we have to multiply it with 1 minus tax while for the other we don't need to multiply with 1 minus tax why? because cost of debt is the interest if you remember in the financial statement if the interest increase the EPT will decrease if EPT decrease the tax will also decrease because of that, interest is tax deductible. Interest can deduct the tax. That's why for the debt side, we have to multiply with 1 minus tax. Let's go directly to the sample question. The company used debt $200, the equity $500, and also preferred stock $300. What is the weight of debt, equity, and also preferred stock? As we know that the debt is 200, equity is 500, and also preferred stock 300. It means the total capital that we have is 200 plus 500 plus 300. It is 
So for the tab, the proportion is we have two hundred dollar of tab, and we have one thousand capital. It means the weight of tab is two hundred divided by one thousand. We have twenty percent of tab. How about the equity or the common stock? It means five hundred divided by one thousand. We have fifty percent equity or common stock. And for the preferred stock, we have three hundred divided by one thousand. We have thirty percent preferred stock. So the weight of tab is twenty percent. Weight of equity is fifty percent, and weight of preferred stock is thirty percent. Is it easy, right? Now let's have exercise of calculating the WACC. Steward company use forty percent tab, twenty percent preferred stock, and forty percent common stock to finance its company. If cost of tab equals to eight percent, cost of preferred stock equals to ten percent, and cost of common stock is twelve percent. The tax rate is forty percent. Calculate the WACC. Note in the question that the weight of tab is forty percent. We don't need to search it by ourselves. The weight of preferred stock or WP equals to twenty percent, and the WS equals to forty percent. It is known also that the cost of tab or RT equals to eight percent. RP is ten percent, and also RS cost of equity equals to twelve percent. The tax rate is forty percent. So we use the formula WACC equals to WD times RT times one minus tax plus WP times RP plus WS times RS. So just input the number into the formula. It equals to forty percent weight of tab times eight percent cost of tab. Times one minus tax forty percent plus twenty percent weight of preferred stock times ten percent cost of preferred stock plus forty percent weight of equity times twelve percent cost of equity. It equals to eight point seven two percent. Very easy, right? Now let's talk again about the implication. Based on the previous example. If there is project that overshoot return eight percent, are you going to accept the project or not? As we know that the WACC is eight point seven two percent, and then there is over that give us return only eight percent. It means our cost is higher than the return. That's why we should not accept the project, or I can say that we should. Reject the project. Why? Because the cost exceeds the returns. Is it clear, right? Now, how if the cost of debt, cost of equity, and also cost of preferred stock is unknown? It means we have to search it one by one. How to search it one by one? Let's talk in the next video.